you ever wonder what it's like to be a school resource officer? We had a chance to follow a Cincinnati Police SRO around today. Brittany Harry is live from Aiken High School now with that story. Brittany. Well, yeah, that's exactly right. I'll tell you what, I spent a few hours today with Officer Adrian Brown. She's a school resource officer, of course, with Cincinnati Police Youth Services Unit. And I tell you what, these school resource offices, officers, they stay incredibly busy. But, you know, one thing does not change, and that is their commitment to just improving the lives of students that they interact with. Wow. One act of kindness can go a long way. This is Officer Adrian Brown. She's been with the Cincinnati Police Department for nearly 25 years and an SRO for the past couple. We have three main roles, law enforcement, of course, keeping the schools safe and the surrounding areas for the schools that we're assigned. Um, we're counselors and we're mentors and we're law enforcement educators. And we also assist uh, administration and security with keeping order inside the school building. You are not going to get arrested. I am not the arresting police. I am the friendly police. So what are, we, what are you making? Officer Brown is busy with several schools she covers in her role as an SRO. She spends most of her time at Aiken High School, the same school she graduated from in 1999. The end. The end. Can I get a high five from everybody? This is my opportunity uh, being a CPS student, being from Cincinnati, um, to be able to, you know, reach back with the kids and say, hey, I was who you are. And in the process, she gets to watch the students grow. Officer Brown says she knows building a relationship with the students is important. So when she can, she visits classrooms and speaks to students in the hallway throughout the day. I love Officer Brown to death. She was always here. We always interacted since our first day. And seeing her in the cadet program also has made me such a better person. I run into her in the hallways a lot and always hug her every time I see her. Yeah, 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 with the equipment. And at the end of the day, Officer Brown helps send the students home safely before doing it all over again the next day. Bye. See you guys. High five for the boys. High five for the boys. High five for the boys. Hugs for the girls. And this is the most fulfilling department, part of the department that I've worked in. Um, just interacting with the kids, seeing their reaction when they see me, and it's almost like my uniform is invisible. So the small kids, and they're coming up giving high fives and fist bumps and stuff like that. It's just, it, it, it makes my day. And So what you saw is just some of what Officer Brown and the other SROs do on a daily basis inside the schools. And there is a lot that we aren't able to show as well, like a lockdown drill that Officer Brown helped with as well at another school. But just because of safety reasons, we can't show anything like that on air. But if you're interested in learning more about the Youth Services Unit or the Cadet Program or any of the many programs that they offer, you can head to our website to learn more. That's at fox19now.com. I'm reporting live from Aiken High School, Brittany Harry, Fox 19 Now.